the camera died the other day here, but uh, wrapping up kind of the last step that I did was um, after you put in the nose plate, you saw when I first started the video, I had those washers on here and the screws were already in place before I put the nose piece in. The reason for that is, is you kind of start this just a little bit with all four screws and you start to pull it together and as you pull it together, it's getting tighter and tighter on these pieces. What I learned was I'm a little disappointed in, in the clearance on these pieces right here. Uh, I may have, had I known it was going to do this, sanded more here so that they sit further inside the dados uh, by sanding the corners. Um, but it did pull together nicely and then once you get it where you want it, you pull those screws out, remove the washer, and then you sink the screws and that allows you to putty over those later on which is what uh, the instructions will have do later but it ultimately came together nicely you can see the screws went into where we put the dowels before so that works out nicely now on the tail I ran into a few complications the tail uh, these screws that he recommends during gluing uh, he recommends that you put those in and then after the glue dries, and I'm not quite at 24 hours, I still am waiting for the glue to get drier, but after the glue dries, you're supposed to remove those. I put in the first side, which was easy because I wasn't bending anything further, but then when I went in on the other side, I ran into complications and the screws were popping right out of the plywood. So I had, uh, I think they were inch and a half screws of mine own, uh, inch and five eighths, screws that I put two of them in and that really pulled the two pieces together uh, and that helped in retaining the gluing. Now he has us removing the, those screws but I'm really concerned that maybe I didn't bend the wood quite enough and my concern is is that the glue might not hold it with that amount of force on it so what I'm probably going to do is countersink these two screws I uh, might recommend getting some galvanized screws so they don't rust over time, but then I'll putty them closed. Um, but otherwise, he just has you later on filling these holes anyway that were for holding it into place while it glued. But the contact points for the glue are just kind of on the corners. Uh, and then, of course, in here on the elevator. So I really like the extra security of uh, countersinking a screw on this side and maybe one on this side. Um, and that's that's the direction I think I'm gonna go That's uh, that's it. The next area is I'm gonna be working on the instrument panel The instrument panel is gonna go in like so and he says you might have to clamp it And I found out that is the case this one uh, is gonna sit in here And I'm gonna glue it in and as you can see it's not tight or flush and I'm having the same problem I have with these dados I'm gonna have to sand these sand these down so that this fits inside here better. I get a nice snug fit and then it glues in there and I'm going to use the clamps to, to bring it in nice and tight. So that's where I'm headed next and then I'll be, the next couple steps after that will be to put on the, uh, the top of these.